We praise God for you this morning. Hallelujah. Welcome to the edge. The everyday God experience is your everyday God experience. Located here at 2705 East Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. We are excited about what God is going to do this morning in this place. Somebody say in this place. In this place. I'm excited because we are in part two of our series, Amen. The Value of Life. Amen. We've been talking about the fact that we talked about not wasting time, the value of time, the value of me. Now we're talking about the value of life. Excited about that today and what Amen. God has in store for us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Real quick, God, as we come this morning, we ask you that you would bless us and keep us, that you would strengthen us, God. That this morning, we would understand the principle of what we're about to preach. Amen. God, we follow after you today that uh, there's nothing but yay and amen, but there's amen. a word that we need to learn in this season, and that is no. Amen. Amen. We learn the word no. God, we thank you that you never say no, that your no's are really just, de they're never denials. They're just delays in the process. Amen. God, let the words of our mouth, the meditation of our heart be acceptable in our sight. We ask you that in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. amen. And amen. If everybody would turn this morning to the scripture. Um, and again, we welcome you, those of you that are joining us by Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we, we thank God for you. And we believe that it is... Um, that there's a word for you this morning. Amen. Amen. Reading from the New International Version, Matthew 5 and 37, says this. All you need to say is simply yes Amen. or yes. no. Anything beyond that comes from the evil one. All you need to say is yes. Wait a minute. I think that I may have turned this. Hold on. This is a joke. Nope, it's on. Five is on. So, in turn... All you need to say, look at this, uh, the New Living Translation says just a simple yes, will, I will, or no, I won't. Anything beyond that is the evil from the evil one. The King James says, but let your communication be yay, yay, nay, nay. For, let me see you, okay, I couldn't resist. Anyway, <laughs> for whatsoever is more than this comes of evil. Amen. Amen. Amen? So how many of us understand this morning when we say yes, we need to mean yes? Yes. But there is a time in life when we need to say no. Amen? Amen. There's a no in your spirit this morning. Look at somebody that says, there's, no there's a no in my spirit. In my spirit. And, I'm okay and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm you okay may with that. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We have been in a series called that for the year called Forward Focus. Well, this quarter we are in a 21-day uh, a empowerment fast where we're getting clarity on what God wants for us in this season. Amen. Okay, we are really beyond the word now, so let's pay attention to the word here. Amen? Amen. Amen. We understand that there is power in the word no. Amen. One of the things that we understand is yeah. that we have to be at this place in our lives where we begin to value time. Amen. Some of us have forgotten how to value time because we've forgotten how to value uh, us, Amen. and if we've forgotten how to value time and us, and we've been wasting time, then we've forgotten how to value life. Amen? Amen? This morning, one of the things that you have to do in this season is remember to value your life, because if you don't value your life, Amen. nobody else will. Amen? Amen? Much like your time, if you don't value your time, nobody else will. Amen. In this season, a forward focus. As we regain our focus, we have to understand that if we're going to move beyond where we've been, we have to learn how to say no. Amen? Amen. How do I say no this morning? Let's try it. No. no. Try it again. No. 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 Try it again. No. 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 Try it one more time. No. no. Isn't there something freeing about that? Especially yes. when there's something you don't want to do? Right. Yeah. How many of us have said yes out of guilt? This morning, the word says that we can say no and mean no. Mm -hmm. And be okay with no. Amen? Amen? Look at this. Oftentimes when we think that saying no makes us a bad person, is a symptom of what we like to call the disease uh -huh. to please. Uh 
How many of you understand this morning that the first tweetable is this? Is that when I learn how to say no, okay. I am in the process of curing myself from the disease to please. Amen. That when I learn how to say no, I'm curing myself of the disease to please. Look at this. Oftentimes, our so, we're so busy saying yes one time, yes two times, yes over and over again. And before we know it, what we have done is we've caused ourselves to burn out. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And let me say this to you. That oftentimes, not only do you do a disservice to yourself uh -huh. by saying yes when you really want to say no. Come on, preach up. You really are doing a disservice to the person that you said yes to. Amen. Now that's, look, that, I, I, and I appreciate that. When Duke Robinson said that and I read that, I was like, oh my God, it's so true. Because if I really don't want to do it, Amen. Come on, I don't really want to do it, I'm not going to do a good job. Right. I'm not going to do a job. Terry and Sherry, neither one of you need to take on a catering job that you don't feel like doing. Amen. Because you never, it's because, look at this, while the food may look good, if you've been tired or you're not concentrated on this, this is not a season to do it. It's not going to taste good, and it is going to be a standing, somebody say standing, standing. impression of your food. Standing impression. Amen. Look at this. Wives, husbands, if you don't feel like doing the do, Come on, preacher. say no. Amen. Because you ain't going to enjoy it, and you're going to get mad at him or her in the process. In the process. Come on, preacher. Sometimes, Sometimes we need to even tell God. Uh -oh. Yeah, you do. You need to tell him no if you're hard in it. Amen. Come on, preacher. You really do because look at this. I believe this that not only in, in offering and tithe and offering is it that when we tell when we give grudgingly. Come on, preacher. Look, Cain wouldn't have been in the trouble he was in Amen. if he simply said, "I don't feel like it." No, God, I'm not going to do it, and and be willing to suffer the wrath. I believe that God would have honored Cain and Cain's honesty Amen. over his half-hearted giving. Can I get one? Amen. Does that make sense to anybody yes, in here know. this morning? Yes, that if know. sometimes I just need to be honest about it. If, but here's the thing. The reason uh -huh. I say yes the reason. instead of no uh -huh. is because I'm actually in my feelings. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Because I'm worried about whether they're going to like Look, if they don't like you afterwards, they didn't like you before. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. If, if everything is predicated on my yeses so that you get what you want in the process, then you really don't care about me because Come what on. about when I need to say no? What about when I have to say no? Come on. Some, well, you don't really love me if, uh -huh. yeah, I love you, uh -huh. but I love you enough to tell you no, and I love me right. even right. more to say no because no means I can do what I need to do. Amen. Come on, preacher. I like being a good guy. I really do. Uh -huh. I think I am a good guy. Uh-huh. But even good guys have to say no. Amen. Come on, preacher. Oprah says that the day she learned how to say no, a lot of things happened. Because let me tell you something. When you learn how to say no uh -huh. to some people, some people, then your yeses come from heaven a lot quicker come on, and preacher. a lot louder. Because God is saying, wait a minute. If I bless you, then you're going to bless them, those people who misuse you, uh -huh. who don't appreciate you. So I need to be able to say no to some people. And keep it moving. Right. Would anybody admit this morning that you said yes to some people that you don't like? Amen. Just yeah. so that they would hopefully like you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They might change their views on you. Uh -huh. I know I'm talking to somebody that's watching yes, me on Facebook. I will never call it in, in cyber land or uh -huh. cyberspace. But you, my brothers and sisters who are connecting this morning, I pray that you understand that it's okay to say no. Look at somebody and say it's okay. It's okay. To say no. To say no. So the next time I say it, uh -huh. Don't get in your feelings. Amen. Unless, of course, your name is Pastor Reed, and you don't get to say. But no, I mean, let me be honest about something. I would rather you really tell me no. Uh -huh. Because you're going to affect, if you tell me no, and you're over there doing something, and it's going to affect the whole service, because now the spirit is manifested. Uh -huh. Come on, preacher. And I don't need any spirits. Honey, we're going to try to chase every spirit up out of this place. Amen. I don't need no new ones coming. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at this. Why do I say no this morning? We may not get to all of this, but I think it makes sense. Look at this. I'm saying, why do I say no? I'm saying no for no sake this morning. Look at this. One of the reasons I'm saying no is for my wallet's sake. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm saying no to some people who always have their hand out Amen. to receive. 
but never have their hand out to give. Amen. I'm saying no uh, because I really can't afford it. Amen. The only person I that I can afford not to say no, that I cannot afford to say no to, is him when it comes to what I need to do Amen. where my wallet is concerned. Why, why do you say that, Pastor? Because tithing Amen. is sacrifice yes, it is. and it's spiritual. Amen? Amen. Now, and this is my thing. People who say, I ain't got it. Uh -huh. It's mighty funny. You ain't got it to put an offering, but you will go buy yourself a $40 dinner after church. That's right. Jesus. Now, my whole thing is our priorities are off. Uh -huh. Earlier I said, okay, it's okay to say no to God. And you know what? I'm a skill set, and I still stand by that. Uh -huh. it, that is not, when it comes to certain things, my no doesn't come into play. However, I would still even rather wear the tithe than offering is concerned. If you really don't want to give it, come on, preacher. Don't, please don't. Please don't give it. Why? Because you taint the whole offering. Amen. You take the whole offering. Look, if I got a bet, because we have lemons there, because I like lemons in my tea. Uh, if I have one bad lemon, uh, come on, preacher. it will cause all the other lemons to go bad even before that time. Amen. How many of you understand this morning when there's a group of you doing something and somebody that does not want to? Let's use this example. There's a group of you that are going out. There's somebody who really doesn't want to go. Amen. I would rather them stay home. All right. Because you're not going to spoil my good time. Amen. Because I'm going to spend half the night concerned about you. Uh huh. But you're all right. You, you're having a good time. Right. I face Yeah, why? Yeah, come on. Come on. It's okay that I want to buy you more drinks. I want to pay for your dinner. No, say no for the sake of my wallet, too. <laughs> Not just your wallet, but my wallet, too. If you don't want to be there, I went out on a date, a blind date, one of the worst. Dates I've ever had. I wish he. I wish the person had said no. I wish he had said no. Uh -huh. I wish he had said no. Because we sat there and they were on their phone the whole time. Uh -huh. They were looking at the TV the whole time. Uh -huh. I was sitting there fighting back tears. I had to go see Xander after that one. I was like Xander. I thought I was a good guy. Uh -huh. I thought when this person said yes, I mean, all my checks uh -huh. on the list. Okay. Educated, attract, no. Cute as all, you know. You know, nice, hot, nice car. Nice, yeah, I want you to have your own stuff. I ain't gonna lie. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with God bless the child. Exactly. That's it. Got to Mama may have, daddy may have, but God bless the child and the grown folk too. Amen. But look at this. So I go out on on this, and it's the most miserable. Day, and it was an expensive. For the sake of my wallet, I wish you to say no. Because by the time the evening was over, it was hundred and twelve dollars uh -uh. plus the tip. Uh -uh. So we were about 125 because, you know, I like to be, I, I try to be good to the, the servants, uh -huh. especially if you're good to me. Because the servant looked at me like, oh, baby, I know you ain't having a good time. I was like, Lord Jesus. Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus. I was like, oh, my God. And I was like, is it me? <laughs> I put on my good little cologne, put on my favorite sweater, had on my good fitting jeans. Uh -huh. I thought I was looking good. But I get there. And it's like, dang, man. But guess what I learned in the process? That person should have said no to a whole lot of people. Hallelujah. Because everybody has had that same date experience. I was like, okay, I just need you to say no. You don't want to go out with me? Say no. Say no. I'm okay with that. Amen. I'm, I really am okay with that. Because I don't want to waste your time on mine. That's why I hate dating so much. Because it's a whole process. Yes, it is. It's a process. It's, it's kissing a whole lot of frogs until the prince of princes comes along. Jesus. And Lord, sometimes it's been some, there have been some frogs perpetrating this prince. This no, no. And I, look, I wish you just said no. I'm okay with you saying no. I'm good with you saying no. I'm good with you saying no. In fact, that's, it empowers me to move on to the next person with your no. That's my freedom. That's my freedom. It's my freedom song. They said no, no, no. They said no, no, no. And that's okay. I'm good with that. I'm good. Like the Bible says, let your yay be yay and your nay nay be. Amen. Was that the whip or the nay nay? Oh, that was the whip and the nay nay. Okay. So, because I need you to whip me if I don't say nay. Ah, come on, somebody. But look at this. I say no for the sake of my wallet. Look at this. And he pushed on himself, this is your new life. Try this with me. 
I wish I could. But for the sake of our friendship, it's my room. I don't lend money. Okay? Because uh, the Bible even tells us what you need to do is lend it or give it, expecting it not back in any way you save your feelings. Amen. Amen. Because there's some folk that even though you said your yes to them meant no, you don't have to pay it back. I went through that this week. Amen. Huh? Come on now. So look at this. So, how do I avoid this? Uh-huh. No, let's, let me back up for a second. Take your time. What I should say, we went over. How about this? Why it works? Because then we're clear Amen. that you don't ever come back to me again. Exactly. To ask me. For, now, if I offer it, that's a whole different story. Right. But if I say no, accept my no. Amen? Because in this season, my no Amen. means no. So you need to know that my no means no. But get this. I need to know that my no means no. It does not repeat after me. My no means no. It does not mean not now. It does not mean not now. There's a tweet. My no means no. It does not mean not now. Amen? Look at this. So it, it should work because it, 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 it lets them know that this is not just my rule for you. This is my rule for everybody. Amen? Uh-huh. But here comes the thing. Because we haven't learned how to value life, uh-huh. we get all caught up on, well, maybe I should have said, maybe I should have, maybe I should have. No, let me tell you why you should have not feel, you shouldn't feel, you should have not felt guilty. Amen? Look at this. Lending any amount of money uh-huh. can, often does, will cause problems. Right. I didn't say that. Don Gabriel who is a, a Gabor, Don Gabor, or Gabor, I don't know how he pronounces it, uh, who's a communication pro- uh, trainer says that, look at this, it will call, it will inevitable cause problems because people, very few people can pay you back on time when they because something's always going to happen. Amen. Folk mess with your money, right. and it's a day late, and then you sitting there looking all some kind of way. Like you can't understand. Like you can't understand. <laughs> look, it's one thing for me to be a day or two off, uh-huh. but when I become a month or two off, I had some people, God bless and love y'all. You may be watching this morning, but it took you nine months to pay me. Nine months. Nine months. Nine months, and it didn't matter that the bill, and they kept asking for service. But you know what? No. I blame me. Amen. Come on, preach up. Because I had to learn how to say no. Amen. And your $160 bill ended up being a $1,235 bill. Oh, sweet Jesus. Now, it was great when I finally got it. Uh-huh. I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was gone. It was gone as quickly as it came, amen. Yeah, so I didn't get to enjoy it. Amen. I didn't get to go buy me a new suit. Well, I did buy me a new suit. But I didn't get to do all that I wanted to do with that because that was supposed to be my, my discretionary uh-huh. money, amen. amen. Yes. So uh, look at this. When I, if, I, if I value you, uh-huh. it's better for me to tell you no amen. when it comes to money, amen. 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 Look at this, look at this, look at this. So. We have these people who now have understood that I'm saying no for the sake of my wallet. Now, and this is probably the only place we'll get this one. You know another reason I say no? For the sake of my time. For the sake of my time. Look at this. Even in times when things have happened, I was once offered a promotion that I didn't really want. And even though it meant more money, it also meant more headaches uh-huh. and more time at a place that I didn't necessarily want to be. Yeah. And it was also taking the position away from somebody who had just thrown, because I was already, I, they'd already said, well, we, you know, we're just doing away with your department, so therefore we're doing away with your job. Mm-hmm. So I had, my friend had thrown me my going away party mm-hmm. at her expense, and it wasn't no cheap going away party. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So the job they was offering me was her job. Sweet oh, Jesus. Uh-uh. And I'm sitting there, I said, you must really think that I'm that kind of person. That I would take the job of a person who was my best friend, one of my best friends at work. I said, no, thank you. And there was a freedom at that moment because I wasn't obligated to y'all no more. Amen. Now I created a position. Now, see, let me say something. 
You know, another reason I didn't feel guilty was because I created a position that I thought I would be good for. And it was a reporter and training position. They gave that to somebody else. Stop it, I say. So just like you ain't have no problem saying no to me, <laughs> I ain't have no problem saying no, no to you. Amen. Now, if you want to be cursed, you can say, no, thank you. Well, I appreciate the opportunity. There's a way to do it. But some of it, but let me tell you, even in my cordiality and all of my professional acumen, what I was really saying, hell no, I don't want that position. <laughs> that means I had to report directly to you. So sometimes your no means it needs to be, no, I don't, I don't want the position. I don't want, because, it, because it, I, <laughs> in this process, I'm not going places I don't want to go anymore. Amen. I'm not doing that. I will not, look, if, if you ask me to preach and I say thank you, but uh, uh, my schedule, you better take that. Because it really means I won't preach for you or your hang to be. Amen. Because your people sit there and judge me the whole time. And I am not going to fight through your judgment. You know, it's a spirit. I know it's just that you went. You you combine two words, spirits that are anyway. Y'all will figure that out on the way home. But look at this. There's power. Look at me. Say, there's power. There's power in the word no. And in the word no. There's power in my no. Because I've saved my time. I've saved my mind. Look, look at this. Here's another tweet. Saying no saves my time, my mind, and your life. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes when I say yes, I really want to kill you after it's over with and bury the body. Amen. <laughs> but look at this. I, I, I can say no because it's better for me to not waste time. We've talked about that. I don't want to waste time on a position that my heart is not in. And then it reflects badly on me and my ability. Does that make sense this morning? Yes, it does. When I say no, I'm really protecting myself in the process, and I'm preventing <laughs> disaster for you. Right. There was somebody that, and, and, and we're, Zane, how much time do we have? Sorry. We have eight minutes. Eight minutes, okay. Let me tell you the story. I, 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 I have worked as an interior designer before, and I love interior design. Uh -huh. I'm very good at it. I'm very, very good at it. At one point, I was the only African-American Latino working for uh, Thomasville Showcase Interiors. The only one. And uh, a friend of mine asked me if I would come into their house. I said, sure. I'd be honored to come into your home. Because he knew a lot of rich folk, a lot of folk who had money. You know, this was during the Clinton era when we all had some money. Yeah, Go ahead, because Bill will be back in there with you anyway. Uh, uh, look at this. So I went out and I measured the house for blinds. And I came up with a price that I thought was more than generous. I, in fact, waived my commission and was giving you cost. And then the person looked at the price and said, well, how much is your commission in this? And I was like, well, how much are you going to make? And I'm sitting there just looking at them. Like, why? Now, it wasn't, and it did not come from a place of, I want to make sure that you're making something. Because mm -hmm. the price was, and I said, this is the rock bottom price. I had already said, this is the lowest I can go. Mm -hmm. And you still got to ask me what I'm making out of. Mm -hmm. Now, there's two schools of thought. Mm -hmm. And I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. It may have been, I want to make sure that you're being taken care of. Or it could have been, I want to make sure that you ain't making a dime. Mm -hmm. Okay. But either way, why should it matter? That's not a question you would ask anybody else. You wouldn't ask J.C. Penney. You wouldn't ask Sims. You wouldn't ask Drake Man. You wouldn't ask Blinds to Go. So why are you asking me? So there was a no that rose up in my spirit. I said, you know what? I, I, I think you better go somewhere else. Because see, I already in my mind knew there was going to be some issues. Yes. Off the rim. So I said, no, thank you. I said, I'll tell you what. I'm, I don't, I, and I was good with that. Amen. Because I am not in this season I'm going to preacher. allow people to make me miserable. Amen. I can't afford, let me tell you something. I had to tell the people at, at, at the loan company, and yeah, I'm calling you out, Aquan. I'm calling y'all out this morning because y'all are cray cray. 
why don't y'all bring stuff back to this shore and maybe we'll be okay. Anyway, the bottom line is I'm sitting there on the phone for an hour and all I want to do is make a payment. And you're telling me that you are not authorized because we are in modification. Thank you, Jesus, for the modification. We're in modification, and you can't take my payment. I can't do it online, and the only way I can do it is go through your phone system. It's going to cost me $19.95 plus the payment. Uh, the devil is cross eyed mama and them three thoughts he calls sisters are like. I'm not doing that. You're not, not going to pay you and then pay and then get. No, it ain't going to happen. So I said, no, politely. And there was a freedom even in saying no. But I said, I tell you what, I am documenting this mm -hmm. in the process because my loan will not, my payment will not be late. Because y'all, y'all ain't have no problem saying no, so I'm saying no to you and your foolishness. Amen. 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 So oftentimes we have to say no and leave people with their dignity. Exactly. Yesterday I wasn't trying to leave nobody with their dignity. I know that's right. Because I was mad as all get. I've been trying to pay you for seven days. But in this season, one of the things that I cannot afford is to be stressed out for my Amen. health. I cannot afford to be Amen. stressed out. My blood pressure way up here. You done going about your business probably oh. laughing all day long about how you done. Because I believe bill collectors are, I believe they're all spawns of Satan. They are. Sorry <laughs> if that's what you do for a living. But you like me, I think you, you get a certain amount of unusual pleasure mm -hmm. making me miserable in the process. But you know what? I said, no. I said, no, we're not going to go any further with this. I'll deal with this on Monday. Amen. Now, your, sir, your system evidently is malfunctioning. You can't take my payment? Okay. Uh, I wrote a letter to my attorney and said, this is what happened. So that... You understood this. Now, I'm not preaching up my pain. What I'm saying is that when you tell me no, sometimes that means, yes, I've got to go to the next step. Yeah, right. Come on, preacher. I've got to escalate. And then they put me on the phone with the escalation manager. Well, why, and my question to you is, well, why are you the escalation manager and you have no authority or power? Exactly. I said, so they gave you a pretty title. Yeah. And I hope they gave you a decent raise for this kind of foolishness. Yeah. But look at this. I say no. For the sake of my time. In fact, sometimes when folks are on the phone with you and they are carrying on cutting on you, say, nah, I gotta cut it. Maybe I hate to cut you short, but I, I gotta go. Mm -hmm. I always say, isn't mm -hmm. this recorded? <laughs> you know, but, you know, but even in my personal time, if, if you if this conversation is going left, uh -huh. I, I uh -huh. not in this season. Not today. Not to, not today, not tomorrow, not next week. Amen. We're not I can there's sometimes when you gotta tell somebody, I can't talk to you right now. Man. That's a no. I can't no, I can't take you. And it's not because I'm being selfish. I don't want to sit in the car. Wait, first of all, I'm taking you someplace and you ain't gonna offer me the first dime of gas money. Uh -huh. And I'm told you I got just enough gas to get me to work the rest of the week. Uh-huh. Come on, Richard. When folk don't know how to value your time. Uh-huh. It's okay to say no. It's okay. There's some people, there's some clients that you're gonna have to say no to entrepreneurs because they don't value your time. They don't value what you do. They don't, they, no. They, they think that because they pay you a little bit of money, uh -huh. that you, maybe, that they can have you any hour of the day. I said to one of my clients who's also a dear friend of mine, I said, I love you dearly. I said, but there's some rules uh -huh. that we're going to have to follow going forward. Amen. One, I work Tuesday through Thursday from 8 until 6, uh -huh. possibly 7. Uh, no, 6. And on th with Fridays, I'm cutting out early. Because that's the way I get to live my life. That's the power of working for me. Right. Amen? Amen. So when I, when I close, uh, if you get voicemail, don't be offended. Because I've had to learn how to say no for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I, in this season, uh, as, narcissistic it may, as narcissistic as it may sound, it is all about me. Mm -hmm. It's about my health. Amen. It's about my peace of mind. Uh -huh. It's about my joy. It's about me being able to live my life and not have to feel, feel my way through uh -huh. because your feelings won't. Mm -hmm. Come on, preach up. Mm. Let's try it one more time. Come on, preach no. Up. no. 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 In fact, if you say, well, maybe they don't understand, hold on just a second. I'm going to help y'all out. I'm going to help y'all out real, real quick. And then you're going to move on, honey. I'm going to help you real quick. Hold Come on, on. Preach up. Hold on just a second. Give me a second. How much time I got, Xander? Xander. Um, two minutes. Okay, 
That's just enough time. One, there's something that you can't say no to. I'm tired of y'all saying no. I need you to go to the <laughs> randomthebook.com and order a copy of a random, 30 Thoughts While Thinking Out Loud and Collecting My Thoughts. I promise you there'll be a yes every day in your spirit for this book. Okay. Um, other thing, I need you to say yes to coming and joining us one Sunday right here at the Edge, your everyday God experience. Amen. 2705 East Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Now I'm going to hope you real quick. Okay, hold on. How to say no. Okay, hold on just a second. In many languages, in different languages. Okay. Hold on. Say no. Stop. My computer keeps wanting to say no. Well, I'm gonna give you three real quick. Ned, nine. Nine. Niche. Niche. And no. And no. And I'm gonna give you ghetto too. Hell no. <laughs> Amen? Sometimes you got to learn how to say no. Because when you say no, you begin to value your time. And get, get this, in your no, others will reconsider how they see your time. And they will find value in it as well. This is Rick Rollins here at the Edge Community Church. Thanking you for joining us today. Learn that there is power in the word no. And as soon as I learn how to say no to both, I think God says yes to me. Amen. Because he then realizes that I'm a steward over my time, my talent, and my tithe. And folks who don't value it, don't value me, which means they don't value the gift he's placed in me. Until next time, give the Lord a hand clap for praise.